Something that will oftentimes be highlighted when rendering with substance generated materials in applications such as 3ds Max is the choice of available workflows at our disposal. So if doing physically based rendering, for instance, do we use the default metal rough approach, the equally valid spec gloss option, or do we perhaps create some hybrid version of either one? Well, the good news in this instance is that V-Ray for 3ds Max can accommodate almost any approach to the material creation process that we want to take whilst using substance based tools. Closely related to this point, of course, is the choice of material type that we are going to want to render with once we get our substance outputs into Max, given that when rendering with V-Ray, we have the ability to work with its own material type, such as the V-Ray material, or with Max's own offerings, such as the newer physical material. Now, ultimately, the finished results that we get in our renders will be pretty similar no matter which workflow approach or material type we choose to work with. And so at the end of the day, we can happily go with whatever option feels most comfortable to us. In this course, then, I will actually make use of a mixed bag approach using both V-Ray and physical material types at various points in the material creation process.